All right, now, talked about functions as graphs or tables, pardon me, as tables or rules. Now we're going to talk about them as graphs. Well, the first thing we have to do is talk about an XY coordinate system. And we can write it lots of different ways. The most common way is a kind of, I don't know, plus sign, I suppose. And a lot of teachers say, go get some graph paper. I say that's a waste of time because for almost all our purposes, just doing a pretty good quick and dirty graph, we'll get it done. Horizontal is the X, vertical is the Y. One, two, three, positive to the right. One, two, three, positive to the left, top, up. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative to the left. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative down. Another way to draw it, if you're just working in the positive axis, which we do a lot, just shorten it to make it a little bit easier. One, two, three. You only have to label a couple of them. And after a while, we don't label the X and Y axis because we remember every time. So it's entirely up to you guys. Now the graph above, let's find some points. Two, three, and it always goes X, Y, X, Y. Easy to remember because it's alphabetical. X, Y. So 2, 1, 2, and then up 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is the point 2, comma, 3. Negative 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the point negative 4, comma, 6. Negative 3, negative 5. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 3, negative 5. And 4, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. This is 4, negative 3. Now we'll go over coordinate systems in more detail, but while we're here, I like to call that the first quadrant, I like to call that the second quadrant, I like to call that the third quadrant, I like to call that the fourth quadrant. And we label them with Roman numerals. Don't know why, we just do. It's tradition. Now, we'll plot our rules from before and see how they look. So make a table for the rule, y equals 2x plus 1, with domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 1, negative 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, and it looks like it goes up by 2 every time, so I'm going to guess that it's going to be 3 and 5. I'm going to make a slightly abbreviated... coordinate system. I don't even need to go any higher than that, but I will. And now we lay out our points. So we've got negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, 1, right there. 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 5. Looks like 5 about there. We'll plot it almost like a straight line, something we'll talk about in great detail in chapters to come. So that's it. That's how we graph that. Let's try it again just to practice. x squared plus 1. And this will not be a straight line. We won't be messing with the x squared until well down the line. So domain, range, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Negative 2 squared, I'm actually going to write this out, plus 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, plus 1 equals 5. Negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2. 0 squared is 0, plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 5. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Let's plot these points. Negative two, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Negative one, two. Zero, one. One, two. Two, five. And actually, it's got a shape like a U. Anytime we have an X squared, that'll happen.
We won't practice these too much at this time, but it's good just to see how we can use a coordinate system to graph a function. That's it. Good luck trying the homework problems. And again, don't get hung up too much on the terminology. Just get good at graphing and get good at it quickly. You will be using it in math a tremendous amount.